on the table. We are going to the beach in January. I guess we could do that. Hey everybody, this is Dan at Squirrel Stampede and we are building Lego Super Mario Beach Front sets with Dory and a dolphin and an urchin and some other surprises. I think there may be a yellow Yoshi in there, right? That's a surprise. So lots to build, lots to soak our feet in and enjoy the nice palm spring breezes of the summertime in January, February. Squirrel Stampede! And Squirrel Live! Let's start the build with Lego Super Mario set number 71398, Dory's Beachfront, 229 pieces, expansion set, Lego Mario not included, with Dory, of course, and a Hucket Crab. On the back of the box, a small setup with one of the starter courses. Inside the box, a small set guide, bag one, gots to be Dory, bag two, and a bag three. Shall we beachfront up this dory? And constructed Dory's Beachfront, and this is a pretty solid expansion pack. There is a lot of stuff going on for the scale of set. Sometimes with these smaller builds, you only get a couple things. Well, there's plenty of things to do here. Let's check out Dory first. Dory, now one of my most favorite LEGO Super Mario character builds. What is she, a plesiosaur, a dinosaur with fins to swim about? And of course, we bring Mario by. Hopping onto Dorio's back, and we get an awesome little hello from Dory. And a little splashage when you bounce up and down. And then if you glide, also some coins. I could do this for hours. This is quite a lot of bit of fun. And it really accentuates the Mario piece on Dory's back. They look great together. All right, there's plenty of activities here at Dory's Beachfront. Where do we start? I guess over at this awesome little sand castle, and we'll place Mario up on Dorio's back, and we'll come on over here to this little shovel, and if we hit the shovel just right, we'll crumble the sand castle. There goes a piece. Use Dory's nice little fins. There goes a piece. And then Mario can hop on over and grab the number one mystery coin block. Got some coins. Next, Mario will hop on over to the shell attack for this Hucket Crab. So we gotta make sure this shell is nicely placed under this lever pad. And if you mash down hard enough, you should be able to send that Hucket Crab flying. Or over the Hucket Crab. That was an incredible shot. Might have to do that in slow-mo. All right, so let's try this again. There goes the Hucket Crab, and you may or may not ride Dory over to get to that crab. We'll just get it now. There's a coin. There's these awesome little geyser pieces that really make this a beachfront. This great little water geyser. You can place Mario up on top. I think right now he looks like he's drowning. Careful, Mario. Don't take in too much water. Nice little green base just to give yourself some more room. Some sandy area. Let's hop Mario back up onto Dory. And this little uh, block here, we should actually flip that down for this 
little contraption. And Dory will come over here and flip this lever, knocking the number two block up. We've got some coins there for Mario. So this is just exciting. There's so much to do here. And one final, final contraption event. We've got this tree over here and it rocks from side to side. Right now it's rocked to one side. So Dory will knock it to the other side. You can go either way. Although one way, actually you can place a little three block on either side. And there it is. It just knocked out from the tree like a coconut. And Mario will grab onto this. And we got it. So plenty of things to do here. I imagine if you used a pipe and a flag, you'd be racing to get this done in 30 seconds or 60 seconds maybe. Uh, it's a great little course. It looks great. I love the beachfront theme. If you don't want to go too large in set size for the beachfront theme, Dory's beachfront is a perfect build. Lots of entertainment. Little sandcastle build here too is really cute. And of course Dory. Absolutely awesome with Dory. So you're looking to expand your beachfront, Mario. We've got Lego Super Mario set number 71400, Big Urchin Beach Ride. 536 pieces full of all sorts of beach excitement. With a dolphin character build, Big Urchin of course. Looks spiny. A yellow Yoshi. Is this our first yellow Yoshi? I think we did green and pink so far, right? And then Cheep Cheeps. Always gotta have cheap cheeps at the beach. And on the back of the box, a little bit of the big urchin working with a starter course. Both of these courses, of course, will work with Mario and Luigi. Inside the box, a small set guide. Bag one of pieces. Two. Three. Lots in four. And five. And finish with a six. Plus, roller coaster turns. That'll keep us busy. So let's ride the beach of the urchin big.
and their constructed Big Urchin Beach Ride. Lots of interesting things going on with this sprawled out build. Primarily the main feature of the dolphin on the coaster wheel. If we can get it to work, we will find out here in just a second. Oh, I dropped a power-up star. So where to begin with Mario on this one? I suppose the Yoshi power-up. We have the yellow Yoshi up here and This code will activate the Yoshi power-up. I suppose you envision now Mario riding Yoshi. One of the fallbacks of this series is that Mario could never really ride Yoshi. Um, you could stand on his head, maybe. But right now, with the little Yoshi symbol on Mario's chest, you know that yellow Yoshi is now activated. So Mario's going to head right on over to ride Dolphin. Let's get Dolphin over here. And we've got the great urchin music going, the beach music. This star loves to fall off here. And that's going to be one of our goals as Mario is going to glide around this rail. A little bit tricky. Let's see if we got it. You grab these little arms here. And then we're going to try to rock Mario around towards the big urchin back there. Ooh, tricky. Okay, we got to get some speed. So down. Here we go. Oh, I almost had him. We gotta get Mario some speed so he can bump the urchin off. Oh, and there goes the star power up again. It's tricky. Oh, there we go. I've got him going fast. Oh, just when I needed him to punch the urchin, I missed him. Up a little closer. Am I even getting close to the urchin? When he gets right around to this point, it is so tight. Oh, maybe my beam. There we go. My beam had got stuck. At some point, this red beam went above this bar. It needs to go below to give you that gravity to swing Mario around. So let's try it again. Okay, Mario still has the Yoshi power up. And we're going to give him a ride. You really want to make sure Mario is squeezed down tightly on the dolphin too so he doesn't fall off. All right, let's try it. Here he comes. Oh, there's a hit. There's sort of a hit. And another sort of hit. Oh, this is difficult. Oh, and he crashes right before the urchin. Is Dolphin okay? Okay, trying this again. Let's get some speed. Oh, we got him. Finally, the urchin is down. That is difficult. That is really tricky. Listen to Mario get all those coins. One thing that kind of helped the build for me. Let's give Mario a five second time out. This little arm just doesn't stretch out enough at times to get under this full beam so if you want to kind of extend it out a little bit just pull it a little bit so that it's always under this that helps it from accidentally going above it and then the urchin never really wants to pop off but anyhow once the urchin is down we've got the scan code but you can't just take out an urchin by itself ow it's going to hurt oh i think i killed yoshi on that yoshi ran away let's grab Yoshi again. So don't take on the urchin without the power star here that flew off the tree while riding around it. And that takes out Big Urchin. Well, a little tricky and clumsy. Not as uh, clean as you would hope it to be. It's fun. It's fun to move the dolphin around, but it is, it is definitely a little tricky. Maybe it's something you can practice and get better at as you go along. And I think, I think my tree base is coming undone too. There we go. So a little bit tricky with this thing. It's going to rock apart, rocking itself apart off the stand too. So watch out for that. But the dolphin's super cute. It's interesting, but a little clumsy. Probably the most clumsy of the contraptions of the LEGO Super Mario world. So that brings us over to an area that actually works and performs a lot better. Probably one of the cooler contraptions of the LEGO Super Mario world. And that is this cheap, cheap bridge. So first, you do have to dive into the water. So that's just kind of there for extra fun. But the bridge here... As you cross over, you've got cheap cheeps to watch out for. So Mario starts over here. This one's solid, this one's solid, but this one activates the fish. Look at that. It is quite entertaining to do to watch these pop up back and forth. I'm getting some coins from Mario too right now, which is kind of interesting. 
But once you expose one of the codes to the fish, that's when you go in for the kill. And I suppose I got them both there. You can kind of have them flip-flopped, kill one, bounce them again, kill the other. Oh, right now they just want to bounce forward. But it is a very clean contraption. Very clean. It works really strong and it is a lot of fun. Unlike this little glide wheel over here, which is a little problemental. Looking a little closer at the character builds of this series, Big Urchin is actually a pretty cool build. Pretty large, pretty spiny, with all those yellow pyramid pieces going around. Ouch! Ouch! Careful with Big Urchin. That's a pretty nice highlight build of the set. Yeah, it's named after Big Urchin, so it has to be. And then there's Little Dolphin, not as cool as Dory. I think Dory turned out to be a lot more friendly and clever and cool. Sometimes it's hard to see Dolphin as a dolphin, but I guess it's okay. She rides around on the rail pretty well, and I like how Mario sits on top of her with that music. Then of course we've got Yellow Yoshi, and I believe again this is our third Yoshi we've worked with. Again, it would have been nice to have Mario be able to ride a Yoshi piece. Maybe at some point they will make a larger Yoshi for Mario. But it's fun to collect the different Yoshi colors. So that is the Big Urchin Beach Ride, a little bit clumsy on the main beach ride. Let's give it one more go, see if we can get through to this guy. Again with Mario crashing. Also out there, if you're looking for more beachfront, there is a poly bag of set 30389 fuzzy and mushroom platform, but I think I will skip as we've seen a fuzzy before, or maybe a fuzzy, and pretty much everything there. So we'll jump over to set number 71396, Bowser's Jr.'s clown car, 84 pieces. On the back there, an image of Bowser Jr. actually riding the clown car with Mario, of course, also being able to ride. Inside the box, a small little clown car guide. Bag one, two, and three will finish up the car. Let's get those built. Constructed Bowser Jr.'s clown car. A fun little silly build to end the day with. The clown car features two arms with boxing gloves on them. And also a raising and lowering bottom propeller. I suppose for stomping on things. There's the propeller down there spinning. It raises and lowers inside the contraption. Took me a minute to find my Bowser Jr. I had to really dig for him, but in doing so, I found my green Yoshi and pink Yoshi that we had constructed before. So if you still have your Bowser Jr., which came with what? One of the first starter packs with Mario, then you've got Bowser Jr. lined up with his clown car there. I think we have to raise his fists up just a little bit to have him stand inside, and he fits just so perfectly. But of course, Mario is going to interact with the clown car, bringing Mario back in and dropping Mario down on the scan code. There we go. So you're going to get some various sounds. A little clown car music, level music going with some propeller whooshing and some coin getting. I think it's supposed to make some bonking sounds, but I'm not getting them right now. So that's the little clown car. I think it turned out pretty good. It's a nice, quick little build and it really highlights many of the LEGO Super Mario sets. Oh, and there's this little bob -omb character. I think we've blown up a bob -omb before. Oop. Get him off his base, and then I think you only have a certain amount of time to grab coins before it explodes. And there it goes. So, a nice little fun little character piece. And one more time with these Yoshis now that we've got them all together. These are the three Yoshis I believe we've built so far. If there's another color we've done, I can't remember right now, but these are the ones that I have found in my collection. 
So a lot of beach building today. I think I would steer away from Big Urchin Beach Ride. It's just a little bit too problematic with that dolphin ring. My favorite set today is keeping it simple with Dory's Beachfront. I think you're gonna get everything you really want to get with that set. And then the clown car is also a nice piece. And coming up next time, we have Among Us official action figures. Yes, figures without stamper pads on the bottom and some mystery capsule Among Us characters to look for crewmates inside. And then the return of Akedo. Everyone's been asking, when is Akedo coming back? Please do Akedo. We've got the new battle giants to look at, so these are going to be totally rad. If you like today's video, please give us a squake, a squirrel eye, and a squamit. What is your favorite beach? Mario Super Lego set you saw today. Thank you everybody for watching. That's what I have to say about that.